All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And, fellas, yesterday, Treyarch put a little teaser for the next operation that's going to be dropping on April 30th on their Twitter page. And it looks like some dude placing a C4 on a jail cell or a wall or something. Put the teaser image up for you guys. Uh, check it out. And a lot of people are saying that this is Spectre because of all the smoke in the background. Y'all know that Spectre, he wants all the smoke, baby. He wants all the smoke with everybody. He's got smoke as his uh, specialist uh, equipment, allegedly. And from the leaks we've seen so far, the smoke is going to blind everyone except Spectre. Like, Spectre's going to be the only dude who can see through the smoke cloud. Uh, sounds like a pretty good piece of equipment, to be honest. And speaking of which, uh, if C4 is coming to Black Ops 4, you guys know I loved using C4 on Black Ops 2. Black Ops 3, I had to warm up to it. I had to warm up to it. But even in Black Ops 3, it was pretty damn good. Even though I prefer the air burst method of the C4 that was in Black Ops 2. And eventually, this also came to uh, COD World War 2. Uh, I, th I think you had to use a special perk to let you be able to airburst it, but it was in COD World War 2. For some reason, C4, much like the VSAT, was never brought here to Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4, uh, some fan favorite items never returned. Well, except for the dart and the RC car and just, I don't know. <laughs> they never brought back C4. And you know what, fellas? Equipment in general, traditional equipment in general, has been pretty much forgotten about here in Black Ops 4. I mean, nobody uses this shit. The trophy system, the combat axe, the frag, the Molotov, concussions. I mean, did you guys even know this stuff was here? Why would anyone pick this when they could have, like, like what I'm using uh, this game, a reactor core or, uh, you know, the mesh mine or, you know what I'm saying, the grappling hook that people love to use so they can fly all over the map and gravity spike people. Uh, just the specialist gear that's in the game is way better than the uh, standard Call of Duty equipment. Uh, you know, there's no Semtex here. I guess they're going to add a C4. I, if they add a C4, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. I don't know. I, I'll just be running around with my dog in the C4 instead of the mesh mines with the Nomad. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I might like C4. Love C4, actually, in Call of Duty. But I know there's a lot of you guys out there that don't like C4. A lot of guys out there complain that C4 is overpowered and all this other stuff. Bro, there's, and I don't understand why people cry about C4, man. There's always been a counter to it. Flag Jacket. And Flag Jacket is great in this game. Flag Jacket would protect you from this right here. Hot Pocket Pro. It'll protect you from the Dragon's Breath uh, Shotgun Operator mod. And it'll definitely protect you against C4. Flag Jacket is great in this game. So if they do add C4, and a lot of people start using it, you best make a class... With some flag jacket on it, man. You'll be all set. I don't, there's no need to complain about anything in this game that has a direct counter to it. I understand that a lot of you guys don't like C4 and it's a lot of you guys think it's overpowered and annoying. But thankfully, at least you can do something about it. You can counter it. Because trust me, there's a lot of annoying, overpowered cheese in this game that has no counter to it. And there's nothing you can do about it except leave the lobby. <laughs> That's the only counter. So at least there is something you can do to protect yourself against the C4 sandwich. So, believe me, I'm going to be out here throwing it. Uh, and you know what, man? The Black Ops 4 developers, they really don't want you guys using standard gear. I mean, obviously. That's why nobody uses it. That's why everyone uses the specialist gear over the standard gear. And I was thinking of a way that they could actually make standard equipment relevant, like the trophy system, the frag, the Molotov. All they have to do to make it relevant and make people actually use it is have it be free. Like, if you pick combat axe, a frag, a Molotov, a concussion, or a trophy system... And eventually the C4 that hopefully will be coming with Operation... Uh, did they even say what the next operation is? I don't know. Operation Grand Failure. Wh whatever the next operation they're going to call. Uh, hopefully Spectre does come. It'll be fun to play with a new specialist, I guess. Uh, even though I think Spectre is going to be a pain in the butt to play against. Like I said, his main is probably going to be the Commando Lunge. And then he's going to have that smoke that he could throw that blinds everybody except him. So he could run around seeing everybody. Nobody can see him. He can just run around shanking everybody in the smoke. It, it, again, just like Zero, sounds like a specialist, super fun to play with. Like when you're hacking everybody else's streaks, it's all sweet. But then when you get your streaks hacked, you're like, no! So that's how Spectre's going to be. You're going to love playing with him, hate playing against him. And he'll probably finally be here in the next operation on April 30th. Damn, Treyarch, making us wait seven months for a DLC specialist we had for free four years ago? Come on in!
But if Treyarch just made standard equipment free, like if we pick any of this stuff, it's just free. It doesn't cost anything in the creator class. Only it would cost a point if we use the specialist gear, like the reactor core or the mesh mine. Uh, this would cost a point. But if they made standard equipment free, a lot more people would use it because it would give you an extra point to use in your creator class on something else. Damn, I even cooked myself, man. What the hell? <laughs> I cooked myself. It's okay. I picked up all my streaks. Streaks? Come on in, baby. So what do you guys think about that idea? Uh, do you think that's even doable? Like, can you make the regular equipment free? If they make the regular equipment free, like the old saying goes, man, if it's free, it's for me. A lot of people will be using the regular equipment over the uh, specialist gear if they don't have to waste a point on it. And that dude right there, Black Wolf, man, I was telling him, I was like, bro, I could have flipped that C4 care package for you, man. That RC car. And he was all like, damn it, I should have let you flip it, man. He thought I was trying to steal his shit. Hell no, I'm not trying to steal an RC car care package. Come on now, son. Now, if you had a sniper's nest or a strike team in there, maybe. I mean, look at this RC car, man. I can't even drive over a sandbag. How the hell's an RC car a fan favorite score streak, son? Oh, my God. Anyway, see, I tried to blow that dude up. He had the flag jacket on. I protected him from the RC car. So, if it'll protect against the RC car, it will most definitely protect against the C4. So, there you go, man. When C4 comes to this game and next operation, don't cry about it. Just make a flag jacket class. You'll be good to go, baby. <laughs> You'll be good to go. Let me try and pepper these dudes with these shotguns. Oh, my God, man. Hey, if they had an operator mod for the Rampage, it, it would hopefully it would be something like a long barrel operator mod. How come every gun in this game don't have an operator mod? You guys notice that? Why is there only, like... Is, I don't even know if there's half the guns in the game. It seems like... It's like half the guns in the game have operator mods, and the rest don't. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe they'll be coming in the next operation. I thought all the rest of the operator mods were going to come as DLC. But, I mean, expecting a finished game as DLC has pretty much become the standard for a Call of Duty player, man. I mean, all these guns should have come with their operator mods at launch. Uh, and even with Spectre and uh, the C4 coming to the next operation, I'm, I'm going to try not to sound ne too negative here, fellas, but let's be real. Why weren't they in the game at launch? And first of all, recycling stuff we already had in Call of Duty, like C4. I mean, son, we've had C4 since... I mean, I remember C4 was in uh, the original Modern Warfare, COD 4. Not, not too many people used it because it was awkward and a pain in the ass to use. But C4's been around for a long time. And Spectre, we had Spectre years ago in Black Ops 3. Not, none of this is new. It might be new to Black Ops 4, but it's not new. It's just more recycled content being repackaged as new. Now, Spectre's smoke ability, that's not even really new because we've had smoke grenades in Call of Duty before, too. So, it's just recycling a whole bunch of stuff and just trying to package it as new content. And this is why so many people are pissed off with Black Ops 4. Uh, a whole lot of recycling going on here, trying to pawn off as new game modes, even. They, they, once again, they took Mercenary, Deathmatch, Mosh Pit out of the game. That's why you guys have been seeing me uh, clapping all the sweaty prestige masters in, in Free For All. The Dark Matter Maddox Spawn Trappers and shit and Free For All. And listen, man, that Strobe Light Operator mod. You guys get in a lobby with a dude who's getting ready for his uh, next MLG tournament and he's pissing you off. Switch to the Strobe Light Operator mod or any of the shotguns in this game. You will make them rage. You, you will make them rage. There's something about shotguns in this game makes sweats go crazy. And if you guys have been watching my live commentaries, you know I ain't lying. <laughs> anyway, game winning kill cam right here. We'll play the game. Ooh, the noob tube, baby. Speaking of noob tubes, where's the MW4 at, man? Come on, bro. Drop that shit, Infinity Ward. I know you've been having athletes playtest the game. That's right, guys. People have already been playtesting the new Call of Duty, most likely Modern Warfare 4. I mean, I doubt it's Ghost 2, and I sure as hell doubt it's going to be Infinite Warfare 2 also. It's got to be Modern Warfare 4. If Call of Duty wants any type of hype behind the 2019 Call of Duty title, it best be Modern Warfare 4. With the MW2 remaster pre-order bonus. And bring back Ghost, baby. Bring back Ghost. We never saw his body. Anybody could have been wearing that mask. Anybody. Bring back Ghost. Ghost still alive. Captain Price still alive. Bring everybody back, Activision. You know how to do it, man. Use that nostalgia as a weapon, baby. You, you guys know. You guys know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. Are you hyped to have Spectre and C4s recycled back into the game six months after launch? <laughs> oh my god. And would you use standard equipment in this game if it was free and didn't cost a point? Let me know down in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.